Hey guys, welcome to Brina Creations. In today's video, we're going to be making simple jollof rice with tin tomatoes. So we're starting by parboiling our rice. I like to parboil my rice and then drain all the water and make sure I rinse properly until it is cold so that the rice doesn't keep cooking. This helps a lot and in making your rice come out really well. Another way you can do it is to just rinse your rice until all the water is clear. So in my empty pot, I'm drying it and adding oil, vegetable oil, enough to cook your rice properly. And I'm adding my already boiled meat, which I froze. Yes, I do this to make my mornings easy for me because I have a full-time job and it's not always easy for me to boil meat when I need it. So I always boil meat ahead of the time that i need like this one i already have going i'm going to freeze when it's done so i've added my onions and i'm going to be cooking this until it is translucent curry masala makes your meal very tasty this is about half teaspoon and then also amawanda mixed spices as well as lasso um chicken flavor all this combined makes this rice very yummy i'm adding gino tomatoes and this is about 70 grams i'm using three of it um this tomato doesn't make your rice color very well if you want your colored jello fries to color really well you want to use pepper mix or that is for thin tomato or such a tomato you want to use pepper mix and then if it doesn't give you the color you need you want to add i'm adding seasoning cubes i'm adding four seasoning cubes because i'm cooking four cups of rice and then crayfish if you want you can add um spice city then in goes my meat stock spice city also helps to um color your rice my meat stock i also froze because like i said i always do this ahead of time i'm adding my cameroon pepper to finish it up and then notice i haven't added any salt my rice is my water is boiled and i'm adding my rice it's at this point i'm going to add my salt to taste because all every, everything else has gone in this is how simple it is to make your rice when you have a busy lifestyle like i do personally i cook rice or any other meal that i want to take for lunch and then my children take to school as well and this is how I make it easy for me so that in a jiffy my jollof rice is ready in less than 30 minutes all this is done yes guys I'm adding my salt now and this is um, this is just the finish of the process at this point you want to taste for salt and pepper and then um, finish up the process because we like to do healthy living guys we try to do this every morning while we're cooking so while I'm, I have my rice cooking I also have my vegetables going so that we can have fiber in our meals as well as all the up to five variety of vegetables for this meal um, that is really our target and this is one of the ways I go about doing it so as I'm cooking my rice I'm also cutting my vegetables the reason being that if I cut these vegetables and I put in the fridge, there is no guarantee that it's going to last for more than two days, depending. Funny enough, it because you're in Nigeria, it may be that day you cut itself, you will not see Nepalites. And even if you have inverter, personally I have inverter, but the inverter doesn't carry the fridge. So this is why we do this. If you store these vegetables unwashed or uh, the carrots unwashed and the cabbage unwashed, it can last for up to two weeks, yes uh so that's it guys so if you're having um if you need help with um living healthy or eating healthy or you know have a weight loss goal this is one of the ways to go and so at this point now my rice is well cooked and i'm just stirring notice that the color doesn't really pop even though i use three such pieces equivalent to the small cups of fish um small for um 210 grams of tin tomatoes yes guys um this is one of the tips so now i'm cutting up my vegetables we're going to be using to eat our rice because we want to have as much nutrients as we possibly can guys if you don't have such um vegetables you can also use your green leaf or ugu leaves or any other leaf you have and then saute it and use that's also going to give you 
and the nutrients you need um, so that's it for this video guys my name is Oge and I'm reaching from Abuja Nigeria I make videos on healthy living budgeting and uh, great recipes don't forget to subscribe give me a thumbs up um, share with your friends and loved ones uh, don't forget to also click the bell icon once you subscribe so that you can get updates anytime I share new posts I really don't like to use cream so I prefer to use mine that's why I'm setting mine out and I'm meeting mayonnaise for the kids yes uh, I'll be seeing you guys in another video until then stay safe bye bye